after declaring victory over the weekend, President-elect Joe Biden has vowed to lean on science in the fight against coronavirus. But President Trump's refusal to acknowledge the results of the election is complicating efforts to get moving on a new pandemic plan. And WGN political reporter Taman Bradley is here with more on the fight. Taman. Ray and Micah, good evening. President-elect Biden said today he will spare no effort to turn the pandemic around, but he's going to have to wait until he's sworn in to take official action. Vowing to make defeating the pandemic his top priority, today, President-elect Biden urged Americans to wear masks. Please, I implore you, wear a mask. Do it for yourself. Do it for your neighbor. A mask is not a political statement. As coronavirus cases soar, Mr. Biden and Vice President-elect Harris met with their newly named 13-member coronavirus advisory panel featuring veterans of the Trump, Obama, Bush, and Clinton administrations. Of note, Dr. Zeke Emanuel, the brother of former Chicago Mayor Rahm Emanuel. They convene as the Trump administration's coronavirus task force, headed up by Vice President Pence, also meets today. Mr. Biden celebrated word from drug maker Pfizer that its coronavirus vaccine trial shows promising results. Soon, the expectation is the FDA will run a process of rigorous reviews and approvals. But he cautioned bold action is needed right now. It's clear that this vaccine, even if approved, will not be widely available for many months yet to come. We're still facing a very dark winter. As the president-elect works to build his administration, progressives are firing off warnings. New York Congresswoman Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez said she's not okay with Rahm Emanuel serving in the Biden administration. She even invoked the name of Laquan McDonald. The American people know the election's over. Meantime, President Trump still refuses to concede. Usually, immediately after the election results are clear, the president-elect visits the White House to meet with the outgoing president. It's not clear if that will happen this time. Republican Senator Susan Collins congratulated Mr. Biden and Ms. Harris, saying in a statement, presidential transitions are important and the president-elect and the vice president-elect should be given every opportunity to ensure that they are ready to govern on January 20th. Also, a group of former GOP lawmakers is now nudging President Trump to accept the election outcome. But this morning, Mr. Trump tweeted about the stock market and the promising COVID vaccine news. This election is not over. Far from it. This afternoon, Mr. Trump's supporters held what they hoped would be a televised news conference, but after a series of baseless claims, even Fox News cut away. Word from Pennsylvania a short time ago, the Trump campaign has filed a lawsuit alleging votes were being held to a different standard in the state. The campaign vows to continue to make its case in the courts. Rand Micah. A lot of points of discussion on this, and we will stay on it. Taman, thank you.